finish preparing Mrs. Appleby's retainer agreement? Uh, yeah. Got it right here. That's so much. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to actually want you in the conference room with me while we're reviewing the terms, just in case there's any changes that need to be made. Also, I need you to be very, very polite, very, very deferential. We have to come across 100% on Mrs. Appleby's side. Now, Mr. Appleby has left her for a much younger woman, but also Mr. Appleby is fabulously wealthy. And you do know who Daryl Appleby is, right, Wendell? The sausage king of Chicago? No. His business is high quality mattresses and there's also a very high turnover. So uh, let's make this happen. Okay. Wendell, today. Welcome, Mrs. Appleby. This is Wendell, he's my paralegal. Good to meet you, Mrs. Appleby. Hello, how do you do, Wendell? I don't know what a paralegal does but I'm happy to meet you. Uh, me too. I mean, I'm happy to meet you too. You know, paralegals do the same thing as attorneys. They just don't lie awake all night worrying the way I do. Is that right, Wendell? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, they get to have all the same fun. They just don't have any of the stress. Right, Wendell? Sure. Anyways, I asked Wendell to be here while we review the terms of your agreement just in case there are any changes to be made. Okay? Now, I know that you're going through a very, very difficult and trying time. I want you to feel free to be able to contact us day or night with any questions, any, any concerns you have. We're going to be your confidants through this entire ordeal. So I gave you my cell phone number, and I gave you Wendell's. Yep, thank you, Tommy. Thank you, Wendell. Very good, very good. So here we have the retainer agreement as we discussed earlier. I agree to represent you and you solely in this matter. Mr. Uh, Appleby will have to find other representation. In exchange, you'll pay the firm 25% of the spousal support that you are awarded. Are we in agreement so far? Yes, all right, 25% of the spousal support. You will also pay the firm 5% of any property settlement that you are awarded. Okay, 5% of the property settlement. In addition to an additional $100,000 if we go to trial. That seems rather steep. Well, trials are very expensive, Anna. May, may I call you, Anna? Yes, of course. You know, trials are very, very expensive. We have to pay the jury, the court reporter, the witnesses, and you know, the experts who, who testify. They are particularly expensive. There's also other witnesses and, and, and paralegals who help prepare the trial. Yeah, it's all very expensive. Yes. Really? Well, n no, no, not that expensive, one window. No, no, it's actually not that expensive. Anyways, Anna, you don't have to worry about that. That's what Wendell and I are here for. All you have to do is just sign the line here at the bottom of the fourth page. Oh, dear. Oh, Anna, Anna, we, we'll, we promise to make this whole process as painless as possible. Yes, I know, but... I just don't know how I'm going to be able to pay for all of this. Cash, check, money order. I'm a, I'm a big fan of cash. I, that Okay, that was just a joke. Mrs. Appleby, we'll just probably send a bill to Mr. Appleby. He, he'll take it from there. This is very embarrassing, but we just don't have any money. What do you mean? No, no, Mr. Appleby earned over $100 million last year. His company was at the top of the Fortune 500. Unfortunately... Things have changed since last year. The business is bad. Daryl has developed a gambling habit. He's thrown away millions. And if that isn't enough, I discovered a couple of months ago that he's been having an affair with one of our housekeepers. And when I confronted him, he left. He went to live with her in her apartment, of all places. We've lost our home. We've lost everything. I guess he still has the housekeeper. It's only through the goodwill of one of our friends that I still have a roof over my head. Wow, that is quite the update. Not much point to this now, is there? Okay, this... Agreement is useless. But I'm hoping that things will improve. Please, I need your help. 
Right, and I would have loved to have helped you if you could have guaranteed that you'll be able to pay your bills, but I don't see that happening. Does that mean you're not going to help me? Now what am I going to do? That is a good question. I guess you could have Wendell here take over for me. Pay him to do all my work. What? what? Me? Yeah, yeah, we'll just uh, write up an addendum. You'll agree to hold the farm harmless and any errors that, that Wendell makes in the handling of, of your matter. That doesn't seem right. Is that legal? Yeah, sure it is, as long as you sign the addendum. So, speaking of, why don't you go type up a new addendum for Mrs. Appleby here. So, the housekeeper. Mr. Appleby still got it, huh? Oh, bless him. <laughs> hey, Tommy. Why don't you go f- Wendell, thank you for your help. Uh, that won't be necessary. I'm sorry you got involved in all this. I wasn't being entirely truthful in there. Appleby Mattresses is bigger than ever. I was testing Tommy, and guess what? He failed. If there's one thing I've learned from being married to Daryl for 40 years, is that you have to choose your bedfellows wisely, especially if you're rich. And trust me, I'm rich. Good luck to you, Wendell. And try not to take after your boss. Compromising your principles for profit is no way to do business. Goodbye, Wendell. Goodbye, Mrs. Appleby. 